Well, it looks like Red Lobster went out of business and all the above, but it says filing for bankruptcy does not mean it's going out of business. In fact, in mo- a lot of restaurants, uh, uh, only like Red Lobster, is only be going to be closed permanently in all states and all the above because they don't feel like working there anymore. And if I see uh, most Red Lobster locations closed, then we're going to say goodbye to our favorite restaurant, Red Lobster. Man, it's going to be really disappointing when it goes away anytime soon. Oh, man, this is really disappointing me today because I heard that all Red Lobster locations are going to be closed forever in all 28 states, even though the rest of the states don't have Red Lobster restaurants. And it's going to be listed as the most uh, uh, closed forever restaurant in the world. Uh, it, it was recently uh, closed for most Burger King locations, but the others were still open at the time. But it still disappoints me when all Red Lobster locations are closed and all of the above. And the reason why it was closed forever is because most people don't want to work here anymore. So, yeah, that's why they place a sign on the door where it says Red Lobster is closed permanently. Well, the first one was uh, closed from a few years ago or something like that and all of the above. I know it's still sad, but I'm going to have to tell Raisa Kamishira about this right away or something. Well, Raisa Kamishiro, um, I just got some really sad and heartbreaking news. What? It looks like Red Lobster is going out of business this year. Do you want to know why? It's because it was due to loads of people not working there anymore. So they made a choice to close all locations forever. And that means when this restaurant is abandoned and closed, what does that mean? Well, um, that means it's going to be gone. Nothing else. It's not going to come back. What? Uh, does that mean we will never try Red Lobster ever again? Never again. But still, I got a news article about it saying it's going to be closed forever or something. All over the United States. Wow. That really is a true article that you found. I know, right? But we still haven't tried Red Lobster before. But sadly, we can't try it because it's permanently closed forever now. Oh, I see about that. But I'm so sorry about this happened to you. It's okay, Mr. Travis. All right, everyone. And pay attention, please. Another general meeting from the Armed Detective Agency is now in session. We have got loads of news articles about the Red Lobster closure thingy. If you don't know what Red Lobster closure is, it's when a restaurant called Red Lobster is closed forever. And... It's going to be permanently closed in 28 states of the USA. And it's going to be disappointing when we say goodbye to Red Lobster. And it's going to be listed as the most uh, closed forever restaurant in the world. But if we're planning to get some food uh, stuff from Red Lobster in grocery stores, then they're still available. But for the Red Lobster restaurant, that means they're permanently going to be gone for good. What? Are you sure about that? Yep, I'm really sure about this, everyone. 
Now, it's going to be disappointing when we say goodbye to Red Lobster for good. All right, everyone. That's all the things we have to say for this meeting for today. So, the meeting is now dismissed. Well, Hokuma, I hate to say it to you, but it looks like Red Lobster is going to be closed forever in all 28 states. Wait, what makes you think that? Well, according to the news article website, it, they said that uh, the reason why Red Lobster is closed for forever is because most people don't feel like working there anymore. And if some people think it was due to bankruptcy, this is obviously not true at all. Oh, yep, that's correct, IMA. It's because people don't like to work there anymore. And that could uh, cause more people at work to waste time and all the above. And uh, they made an announcement on the door uh, after they placed a sign on there that says Red Lobster will be closed permanently this year and all the above. And I know it disappoints us when uh, most Red Lobster restaurants were closed all over the United States in real life last year. I know, right? But we can still have a funeral about it this year in this house. I think we can do that. Okay, make sure you let a few people know. All right, everybody. I just have an announcement to make for all of you. What? It looks like uh, we'll be having a funeral service about Red Lobster at home today uh, since uh, our funeral service is going to be really far away, and we can't go there. So instead, we decided to watch it from the TV at our house this year. Wait, that sounds like a great idea to do. Even though we can't go to in-person funerals or something because it's going to take a really long time to get there. So it's a good thing that we can still watch it on TV. I know, right? But does it still disappoint you when it's gone forever? Yep, it disappoints us when Red Lobster is gone forever and all the above. And I know it disappoints us when there are no longer any locations for Red Lobster all over the United States and all the above. Now, the couch only has five spots to sit in. So uh, you can pick out a few people who will sit there. Um, we'll sit together with you. Okay, good. Now let's get to the living room and turn the TV to watch the funeral service. Hey, everyone, and thank you very much for coming to the funeral service for Red Lobster. As you can see, the Red Lobster is permanently shut down forever because most people don't like to work there anymore. Even though people thought it was for bankruptcy, but, but this is actually not true. You see, Red Lobster was closed a few years ago, which is the first one, which is one of them in the United States, saying that Red Lobster was closed permanently. So uh, from last year and all the above, all Red Lobster locations all around the United States of America were shut down permanently. So it uh, he was remade and all the above for the 19th century, which is the uh, 1900s and all the above. And in the uh, 2000 decade and all the above, it went to wars or something like that. And we say goodbye to Red Lobster. Let's give everyone a speech about it. Uh, anyone? All right, come on up, but please. All right, I got a very second speech I want to say. Um, uh, the place I love to go to back in 2021 is Red Lobster. And the food I tried there was a popcorn shrimp. Even though popcorn shrimp was my favorite food from there, or something like that. And I had french fries to go with it, along with the soda. But I'm not sure which one I had. But still, I had the best time at the restaurant, and you're the best Red Lobster, and I'm sure going to miss you. Thank you. And when we get to work on... Um, uh, the restaurant called Red Lobster. I thought the manager was going to kill us. And then when we quit the job here, I really thought he was going to kill me. But as of right now, he didn't. Since he was so nice to us and all the love, since we always work hard from the past almost about 50 years ago or something like that. You're the best Red Lobster restaurant. I hope you have great memories with us in the future and all the above. And we are all sure going to miss you. Now there's one person left about the speech before we end the funeral service. Okay, um, my favorite restaurant I like to go to is Red Lobster. And the only uh, flavor of food I tried when I was an adult was the uh, wood grill combination, which was Maine lobster, extra jumbo shrimp, and salmon. 
And for Isaac Bailey, he used to create a scene where Talking Tom and his friends go to Red Lobster to have some lunch there. And he had delicious food there. Like the Google combination, uh, uh, brown bear, shrimp, scampi, soy ginger salmon, and the ultimate feast. But it's kind of disappointing when uh, he can't make those videos on, on his iPad anymore. We are sure going to meet you, Red Lobster. Okay, that's all the people in here for today. And thank you very much for watching the funeral service of Red Lobster. If you're, if you're going to see the Red Lobster close already, then please feel free to do so. But if you're thinking of, about it, then feel free. In the meantime, have a nice day. Well, guys, it looks like the funeral service for Red Lobster is officially over. And I want to say thank you all for watching it with me. And I um, wanted you to make sure that you became quiet the entire time and not make loud noises while they're doing the speech or something. And that sounds pretty much it. Uh, but since you're quiet the whole time, you all did really good. Oh, thank you very much, uh, um, everyone. You're welcome, I guess. So what are we going to do now? Well, since the funeral service for Red Lobster has came to an end on TV already, I'll tell you what we're going to do. What is it? Well, the only thing that we're going to do right now is go to Red Lobster to find out if it's closed or something. Oh, are you sure about that? Yep, I'm sure about that. Anyway, um, we have to check if the sign is still there that says closed permanently. And if it says that, then it's going to be really sad when we see it closed down. Oh, okay. Well, are we ready now? Yep, we're ready. Make sure you get everyone ready and um, meet me in the car. So, are you ready to go to Red Lobster to check if it's closed or not? Yep. Now, I know it's very disappointing to tell you this, but we won't be able to have food at Red Lobster for lunch today because it's closed down forever. And the other reason why it was due to bankruptcy, even though this is obviously not true at all. And that's the reason why Red Lobster was closed permanently and all the above. Wow, I didn't know it was closed. I know, right, everyone? And uh, from last year, back from a different state, they left a sign on the door about it, from the news or something like that. Oh, yeah, that's true, uh, Raisi Kamishiro. Now, uh, what does the sign say after we get there? Well, it says closed permanently, and we want to say thank you for the support and all the above from the Red Lobster uh, uh, team. Yeah, that. Oh, wait a minute. Are we here already? Yep. All right, everybody, we're here at Red Lobster. Even though it's no point, now let's go check. Come on, are we ready to go inside now? <gasps> Guys, it's closed. Wait a minute. Oh, uh, wait a minute. What? Uh, why is the door opening? Read the sign, Barto. It says closed permanently from the Red Lobster team. What does that mean? That means it's closed forever. Forever? Why? It's because they ran out of money. Wait, that doesn't make any sense because... When they cook their food and give them to the customers, they get more money. How did they run out of the money that fast? I guess it wasn't enough. It wasn't enough. Why don't they just raise the prices in the restaurant so that way they can get more money for this year and all the above? Hmm, I'm not sure about this one or something like that. But I don't think that this is going to happen or something like that, Barto. But you better listen to me. Um, I'm not the boss. I don't own this place. Look, we can't help them raise any more money. Let's just go. Oh, maybe we should see Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice on our way home so we can cheer ourselves up, okay? Okay, then. Well, Travis, we just got uh, done checking if the Red Lobster was actually closed, and there it was. Okay, what does the, the paper say on by the door? Oh, it says closed permanently. What, what does that mean, Naruto? That means it's closed forever. Uh, the reason why it's closed is because they ran out of money. So, yeah, even though we can't help them raise any more money. I know, right? That's disappointing. Anyway, uh, on our way home, we have decided to see a movie. Really? What movie? Oh, um, and we are seeing Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice, because that movie came out about a week, week ago. Yeah, one week ago. Anyway, um, is it over 100 minutes long? Well, according to the movie website, I think there is. So I already bought the tickets or something online once again, and once we get to the theater, we'll go inside. And we're here. Hello, everyone, and welcome to Los Angeles Cinema. I'm Izumi, and I'm going to be the worker at the ticket stand for today. How can I help you all? Oh, yes. Um, we will all like movie tickets to see Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice, please. Okay. 
Uh, that will, I'll give you the, the theorem right here right now. Uh, I must warn you because Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice, which is the second Beetlejuice movie, is rated PG-13, and it's not suitable for children under 13. But since they're only 11 years old, I can allow them to go in there. So, yeah, and as for now, they are, you are absolutely more than welcome to go into that uh, room number or something. Okay, so here's your movie ticket, and the dear room number you're in is dear number two. So, yeah, uh, so make sure you get your snacks ready and um, enjoy the movie. Hello, and welcome to the concession stand at Los Angeles Cinema. I'm Tisaki, and I'm going to be the worker for today. How can I serve you all? Um, may I please have, um, like, um, with the classic popcorn combo? And can I also get a soft drink with any type of candy? And what would you like, uh, Tagamichi? Um, do you mind if I can also go for a popcorn combo for everyone else to share? And can I also get a candy called Skills Gummies as well? And can I have a soft drink as well? Well, we have skills gummies here. Then, sure. Is that all? Yep. Okay. Here's your money. Thank you. And here's your uh, small uh, change right here. And thank you for choosing us. And just in and enjoy the movie, everyone. What on earth? It sounds like the second Beetlejuice movie is not rated PG. But still, the first one was rated PG. Oh, wait a minute. It's switched from PG uh, to PG-13 for the second uh, movie of Beetlejuice. And it's not appropriate for children under 13 as well. Everyone, it's okay. The movie is over 100 minutes anyway. And once the movie is over, or while the crowds are going, we will go home and have fun at home for the rest of the day. Okay? Absolutely. So what are we going to do now? Good question. Um, we're going to enjoy the movie up to the previews, even though the previews are already ended or something, and we have to keep our assignments the powers off and all of the above, so we don't get disturbed by anyone else and all of the above. Oh, it's starting, everyone, so be prepared to watch it. Wow, that was the great Beetlejuice ever we ever watched. Um, <clears throat> even though the second one is rated PG-13, and the first one was rated PG, wow. And I, I was so glad that Beetlejuice has decided to come back this year for the second movie. Yep, that's true, Mr. Travis. Anyway, I hope you had a great time. And I'm so sorry to hear about what happened with Red Lobster this year. So, yeah, what are we going to do now? Well, what we're going to do is go home for the rest of the day and hang out. Okay? Okay, then. So, um, what time are we going? Well, you know, since there is, I'm not sure there's a postcard scene, but I think we should go home right now. Right now? Yep. Even though most people can always go a day without them misbehaving, and I still appreciate. In the meantime, let's go home. All right, everyone. It looks like your behavior at the movie theater today was super terrific, very wonderful. It looks like you became quiet the entire time during the movie and all the above. So, um, and the only character I loved is Beetlejuice because he always appears in the real world and he always lives in a world called Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice world. Even though I never heard of that happening before. I know, right? Even though this is the second time that Beetlejuice made a movie, right? Yep, that's true, everyone. Now, once we get home, we'll go inside and have fun for the rest of the day. And... Uh, and before you, we let you have free time, we'll do a thank you thing in the house, okay? And by the way, we are arriving home right now, so let's go inside. All right, everyone. I hope you had a good day today, but it's still disappointing when Rail Upster is closed. But anyway, it looks like our date went better right now. Anyway, I want to say thank you for coming with me to check if Red Lobster is closed and all the above. And thank you for coming to the movie theater with me to see a new movie called Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice. And the next movie we want to see is Transformers 1, because it's a 3D anime movie it's made by Paramount Pictures and Hasbro Entertainment. Wow. Uh, so it looks like those two companies made a 3D anime movie of it? Yep, that's true, IMA. 
Yeah, thank you very much for coming with once again. You're welcome, I guess. So feel free to have some free time and like take naps, video gaming, and more. And in the meantime, I'll see you again tomorrow, okay? Or later. Yeah. All right. I got done watching Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice in theaters today, and according to my notification, I got some paperwork about it. Now, this is really easy for me to do, like always, just like with any other paperwork. So uh, I'm not sure how long it's going to take me. It looks like it's going to take me a while to do so. And it only has three questions. Um, when was Beetlejuice's second movie released? I think it was released this year. Okay, so that's 2024. Got that. And what movie ring was Beetlejuice 2, PG or PG-13? Well, according to the MPAA for this movie, it's rated PG-13. Okay, and the, bio, and the final question is, what movie are you going to see next? I'm going to put, I'm going to put in Transformers 1 and hit done, and the paperwork is complete. Wow, that paperwork was really quick for me to do. Now, for now, I'm going to go on break. Oh, man, I can't wait to watch some TV. So let's see what's going on with Ann's YouTube channel today. Gosh, if you've got suspended for eight months and after your suspension is over, you're going to have to test it with principal perfectly for 10 hours. And if you don't stop bullying people, you are going to be expelled from school. Now, you better get your act together right now. Wow, I just heard something from the TV. It looks like Big Bill was talking about Little Bill's unacceptable behavior today. And the kindergarten version of what he did recently was he put Pokio as a new student today. And according to his father, he said that if he doesn't stop bullying people, then he will be expelled from school. And um, it, it, this is going to happen if he does it one more time or something like that. But anyway, I still had a great time seeing Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice this year. And I hope it's going to be released on Blu-ray and DVD anytime soon, either this year or next year. But I'm not sure. We'll have to find out very soon.